Hello students, I am happy to see that one of the informative speeches has already been loaded into Canvas and I look forward to the arrival of the others and I look forward to viewing and evaluating your speeches. We're now going to move on to persuasive speaking and while the chapter on informative speaking said that that is the most common type of speech, I believe that persuasive speaking is the most important and most valuable because whereas an informative speech can change something in your audience in terms of what they know or understand, a persuasive speech can actually change what they think, know, believe, and what they might actually do. So persuasive speaking can actually result in real changes in the real world. So uh, I've got this one module and it's basically a signing that you read chapter 16 on persuasive speaking. You will have a quiz on chapter 16, but before I create that quiz, I'm going to record a video where I add some content to chapter 16, particularly in the area of logical reasoning. So uh, you're going to have a little while before you actually have to produce your persuasive speeches. And so uh, tomorrow I expect to have recorded that supplemental, supplemental video and to have also uh, loaded in the quiz on persuasive speaking. But in the meantime, there is one page on um, one of the kinds of approaches to persuasive speaking, and it's called Monroe's Motivated Sequence. So if you have the opportunity, you can take a look in there. And I have three sample videos from TV commercials. So if there's one particular kind of uh, persuasive speech that you are most familiar with, it's probably those irritating commercials that happen uh, usually on late night TV. So I'm going to now post this announcement. And then um, you will uh, receive another video from me tomorrow.